Hey guys, welcome back to Unboxed. Uh, I just have one unboxing to do right now because I'm about to go um, out of state with my family um, for vacation for my mom's 69th birthday. Um, so I'm uh, excited about that. <laughs> But I got this thing in, and this thing kind of relates to an episode I did recently, because um, I know what this is. Um, if you saw my episode about the Joy Board, um, uh, go watch it. Um, uh, but the, the Joy Board was put out by Amiga in 82, 83, and um, it is part of a series called the Power System. And I did a little bit more research and found out what that meant. Um, what the power system really meant was um, it was part of a line of peripherals called the power system that Amiga had out. And um, so this, what I'm unboxing here, very slowly, <laughs> um, is part of the power system. So I'm excited to show this. I also wanted to say I just filmed and edited uh, me and my friend Adam we do the unboxing and review of the C64 Mini emulation system. I do like to play on original hardware, but I don't have a Commodore. So um, you can see this is back here now. Um, it's great. Um, I love it. Um, so until I get a Commodore, um, I'm going to be playing on that. So, And also did an interview with uh, Adam, and that's airing afterwards. So this probably is going to air after all that. But if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's so fun to make. We spent like three or four hours together, like we normally do. Uh, we normally are playing games and going over materials for 8-bit computers, and um, it was really cool. I had a lot of fun. So, now this is a lot smaller than I thought. Um, I thought this was going to be bigger, actually. It's tiny. So, this is part of the power system. I didn't realize this was so small. I didn't pay a lot for it. It was like $12 maybe or something. But this is also put out by Amiga. And I, I thought it was a full size. <laughs> so funny. Um, so here we go. It's the power stick. Look how tiny that is from Amiga. And as you can see, it's part of the power system. It says the power stick. And on the back it says the power system. And basically you plug this in and it's it's a small joystick, I guess. I didn't realize it was so small, but I think it's kind of cute. Um, so um, as you can see, this is part of the same series as this. Um, so uh, these were peripherals Amiga put out. Um, uh, that was the joy board there. Th these were peri peripherals Amiga put out, um, different ways to play and at, at the time. I think it's kind of cool. This probably came out in 83 as well. Um, I've seen these come up on eBay every now and then. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of fun. Uh, this is a tiny joystick, so let's hope it works. I'm gonna try it out. So that's that's pretty much all I have for you this time. Um, I just had one unboxing to show. Um, and uh, yeah. Um, so let me know what you think, you guys. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have this or if you're interested in seeing me play with this thing. Um, yeah, let me know. Um, so have a great day. We'll see you when I get back from my vacation. Can't wait. Bye. Hey guys, it's BCB here again. I just have this hooked up and I'm, I'm actually gonna play Donkey Kong on the 800 XL with this. I did test it out just for a second, it does work. So um, let's play with our itty bitty power stick controller. Whoops.
so strange to play with this thing. Very small. I must have this on a harder level. It's pretty hard to play. I mean, it's just a more advanced level, I think. For my moves, too. <laughs> It works. I do have to press kind of on both sides though to get the jump to work. Yeah, these guys are going fast. Coming to get me. I love Donkey Kong. This is the best version probably on the... Uh, in the whole Atari line here, the 800 version. Uh oh. I like how they have the cutscene there that the original 2600 version didn't have. This looks a lot better than that version, for sure. Oh shit. Oh. Here they come. So cute. pretty good. Hate this stage. Whenever they're all different like that. Start jumping around. <laughs> well, I must have had that pretty high. That was kind of hard. Um, anyway, guys, let me know what you think about the Power Stick by Amiga. It's cute. I'm glad I got it. Hi there. This blazer again. Uh, just wanted to kind of tell you a little bit about my family history. Um, I remember I was uh, I was in a Toys R Us or something uh, sometime around 80, um, 84 probably. Um, and Ballistic was in the this toy store and he was like nine years old and um, he saw me there and uh, I was on sale or something uh i was just hanging there you know by thread um and had my my uh, family troop my troop around me and uh oh uh, yeah he came by and got me and uh i think he paid like five dollars for me or something and took me home and uh he even replayed with me in the bath and stuff and um uh, put water in my head squirted it out his sister or whatever and uh you know just some really good times and uh that's kind of what i did in the 80s and then I'm gonna I want to say sometime around uh, uh, 87 or so, um, I ended up in a um, in a toy box and uh, stayed there for like 15 years or something. Just kind of laid there and um, kind of dreamed and stuff, and you know got a lot of re a lot of relaxing in you know I know, uh, but uh, yeah. Um, so over the years, um, I was just kind of laying there and. Uh, no one knew anything about Blazer or RoboForce anymore, you know, and, um, uh, it's just real sad, and, uh, so here lately, um, I was put on a shelf for two over the years, and, um, yeah, I've, I've actually been in his possession, um, for almost 40 years, kind of crazy, um, but yeah, so I was laying in my box, and, um, got hairs on me and stuff, and dust, and, been getting a little gray here and there and he finally pulled me out and uh 
so here I am. Um, and I, I am happy to be your co-host right now. Um, and uh, I just hope that uh, Ballista gets me a Playmate or something because it gets kind of lonely up in here, you know, uh, being alone all this time. And uh, Anyway, I'm Blazer. And uh, I used to be known as the Igniter. Ain't got no fire in me left anymore, but um, I my arms do work. Um, there's a little button on the back that you press right there. And uh, my arms move and um, I can squirt out water and stuff and all kinds of stuff. Anyway. Hey guys, welcome back. So, um, I just literally returned from, um, California where I visited my family, uh, yes, yesterday. Um, I was there for about four or five days. It was so fun. As you can tell, I got, <laughs> I got some color in my skin. Um, we went over to Catalina Island on this ferry for my mom's 69th birthday on the 23rd and it was quite choppy and windy. It was pretty crazy. There were people throwing up everywhere. Bunch of college jocks falling over. It was really funny. <laughs> and they even sold a seasick medicine there. Or gave it away. I'm not sure. But um, there was a bar. My sister's had a good time. It was with my mom. She was getting water splashed in her face. It was it was pretty crazy. But we got over. We did the golf cart thing around the island. It was so fun. You can just stop at beaches and have a cocktail. And there's bars. And a lot of fun. Uh, but anyway, um, this is the tip of the iceberg. We had, we had a really good time. So it was back here playing Donkey Kong, as you can hear, um, on the 800 XL. It's one of my new favorite versions of Donkey Kong, by the way. A lot of fun. Let me just turn it down so you don't keep hearing that. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, got some unboxings today um, from my trip in SoCal, Southern California. Um, I'm going to be using my grandma's letter opener to open these things um, from the 70s or 80s or I don't know. It looks it looks pretty old. And it's got this faux kind of wood green handle. <laughs> Interesting. So um, I'm going to do the mail last because I got some mail to unbox. Um, right now I'm going to show you what I got whenever I was in SoCal. Um, I did get some things. So... Um, Went into, me and my sister went into Dollar Tree to get some things uh, for my mom's birthday. We are setting up for her house, you know. So one of the first things I saw was Caddyshack 2. Um, this is the comedy uh, film with like uh, oh, all kinds of people. Um, Jackie Mason, Robert Stack, Diane Cannon. Um, uh, let's see. Um, Randy Quaid, Chevy Chase, just all kinds of people. Um, my dad was a huge fan of the first Caddyshack. And uh, when I was a kid, I used to do the chipmunk dance when I was like seven or six or something like that. And he would make me do it for his friends and they'd laugh at me. It was fun. <laughs> so we saw that in the theater. Um, and I loved the first Caddyshack um, with Roddy Dangerfield and everybody. Um, this is the sequel. A um, little different. But I remember this one too. I haven't seen this in a long time, y'all. Like maybe 35 plus years. I can't remember. But anyway, there's the chipmunk on this one. <laughs> uh, very fun. It says the shack is back. Um, play the funniest game since plaid pants were invented. I won't read that all to you because it's long, but got Caddy Shack. These were like a dollar at a thrift store we went to. I also got Poltergeist, the original on DVD. I do have the combo set somewhere. Um, I don't know where, but I saw this for a dollar. I wanted to get it. Uh, really cool movie. Not only fun to watch, but um, also very retro and cool. I, I love how the TV um, plays a prominent role, the TV snow. I, I love that. Um, so iconic game from my childhood. It was a dollar. A lot of fun. Poltergeist. Cool. Um, so we, I went to um, inside the Dollar Tree next door, and I got four movies and three little action figure things. Um, I got Stockholm by um, with Ethan Hawke. Um, looked interesting. 
Um, a suspenseful, riotous black comedy with heart. Uh, based on an absurd but true story. Um, basically a hostage crisis in Stockholm that was documented. This is where the term Stockholm Syndrome came from, where you, I think you sympathize with your captor or something. Um, cool. So, yeah, it was $1.25. Um, next one I got was St. Agatha. Uh, I thought this looked kind of creepy. Atone for your sins. Um, from the director of Saw 2, 3, and 4. Um, a horror film with brains and atmosphere. The bag looks really creepy. That's why I got this. Look at those little red scenes. Pray for your life. Um, interesting. For a dollar? Sure. St. Agatha. Next one I got was Pulse. Um, Caro. Um, this one intrigued me too. Um, a a, a Kayoshi Kurosawa film. The scariest film of the year, someone said. <clears throat> um, interesting. The back says uh, a film that's scarier than any movie you will see this year or maybe ever. Um, so yeah, it looks scary. More frightened than I've ever been in a movie theater. <laughs> uh, interesting. I love these cheap little scary movies. They're, they're, they can be fun. Last one I got was Paranoid Park. Um, Russ Van Sant. Um, I guess it's one of his. Um, yeah, um, interesting. It, the best kind of mystery, one that explores a soul as it unravels a crime. It just looked interesting to me. Um, and, 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 and the cover kind of got me. Um, so, um, a ride to remember, beautifully realized, exceedingly well-made. Um, I have no idea what it's about, but I'll watch it at some point. So I got those. I also went back to the toy section. I got these three little figurines. And these are the micro figurines Dollar Tree has. I got Cyborg from the Justice League. Very cool. I got um, the Flash from the Justice League. This was the last one. I had to get it. Very iconic figure. Uh, this was the only one of these. I got G.I. Joe's Roblox. I used to have the little three or five inch, whatever, the five inch figures when I was a kid. I had like 50 of them with the guns and the file cards and... I lost it in my storage in the early 90s. Sucky. But um, yeah, so I've been collecting these little micro figures. Very neat. So after that, that's kind of all I got there as far as that goes. Um, oh, one more thing I want to show you. I also got this from my car when we were at Catalina Island. Um, dashboard dudes. I got me a little hula doll for my dashboard. Um, I wanted to get one with a little mandolin or whatever, but they were out. So I just got this one. It was like 10 bucks. Um, very cool. Um, I also got something else. So whenever we were in Southern California, we went to the shop and it was called Me Mickey's. Mickey's or Mickey's? Um, but anyway, when I was there, I found this thing. I thought it was cool. It got a little dinged up in my luggage, but it's miniature soldiers um, in two colors, 60 pieces. Includes two armies. I wanted to get this to maybe make a little diorama with or something with my art and or incorporate it somehow um, into my gorilla art <laughs> that I do on the side. Um, very cool. Little green army men. So that's all I got there so I could fit in my bag. So when I came back yesterday, um, was uh, just, I had to go pick up something on the other side of town when I got here at a Best Buy. So I stopped by at my favorite thrift store, Savers, and they were having a CD sale of all days. They had a ton of CDs. So I got a lot of CDs I'm gonna run through real quick. I also saw this. Um, it's a Dell mouse in the box. Um, a USB mouse, looks brand new. I wanted to get this for upstairs because I just want a regular um, USB mouse. And for three bucks, brand new, you can't go wrong from Dell, right? So this is probably one their computers came with or whatever. Cool, it'll be new to me. So um, after that, I'm gonna do this and then I'll get to the CDs before I do the mail. Um, I found this cool new disc box. Um, I want this down here for my ST discs and whatnot I'm gonna be collecting um, over the over time. This is probably one of the last ones I'm gonna get because I already have one that's not full. Cool, so, um, but yeah, it's cool. It's got um, little, uh, it, was, it was like $4.99. Um, it's got a lot of storage. I don't have the key for it, but very cool, I got, got a new disc box. Excited about that. So 
when I was there, I also saw this. I had to get it for three dollars. It's a 10 pack of DVD RWs. And I looked in there and they're all there. Um, so cool for recording, making DVDs and whatnot. Um, I needed to get some new media. So let's go ahead and move on to the CDs. I got quite a few I want to run through real quickly before I get to the mail. Um, so yeah, it's a stack. I'll run through really quickly. So I got Shaman. Um, I used to have this. It's intact. Um, got it again because I don't have it in my CD collection anymore. I got rid of a lot of my CDs a few years back and now I'm getting them again. So <laughs> just because I like having the original media. So Shaman, one of my favorite little techno electronica bands from back in the day. I also happened to pick up this. It's Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation. Uh, this was complete with the manual and everything. Um, and it was a dollar, which is insane. And the discs are in good shape and um, everything. So Metal Gear Solid for PlayStation. I do have one of those upstairs. Um, I also got this and I featured this recently is uh, Mavis Beacon Teaches Typing Volume 3. Um, this is old. Um, this is from 19... 90 can't read that 1988 maybe um, but this is version three um for uh windows uh gosh windows 8.1 and 95 interesting um i think it said that i'm not sure <laughs> um now these CDs, I had these um, years back and I'd sold them and I got them again. They were only a dollar. They were having a big CD sale. I spent $20 for all the shawl. It was crazy. Um, I got Madonna's Ray of Light single. Love it. Love Madonna. I got No Doubt singles. Um, this is their singles from 92 to 2003. I used to have this, got it again. I do have a lot of these in Apple Music too that I canceled that. So um, now I want the media back again. I got George Michael, Shoot the Dog. This was a promo I saw. I know these things are rare and don't particularly like the song, but I got it. Again, it was a dollar. Um, interesting. I got Morrissey. Um, this is his Ouija board single. I used to have this in my collection too, now I do. It's also got Yes, I Am Blind and East West. I'm a huge Morrissey fan here. If you are too, let me know in comments. I got The Cure, Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me. Um, I have this on vinyl. Um, I don't think I have it on CD. I think I got rid of it years ago. Good one. I got or Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark or OMD, the best of OMD. Um, I had other compilations, not this one, but I used to. Good one. I got Morrissey. The more you ignore me, the closer I get. Um, I love Morrissey. This is a great single. It's got used to be a sweet boy and I'd love to on it, which are also good from back in the late 90s. Um, I got Sinead O'Connor's I Do Not Want What I Haven't Got. When I was a kid, this was a huge album. It's got nothing in Paris to you on it that Prince co-wrote. I remember this CD and my cousin having it. There's a song on here called Jump in the River that I love. Um, also, Black Boys on Mopeds. Um, very cool CD. I got No Doubt's Tragic Kingdom. I used to have this too. Got it again. Um, very cool. Iconic CD. I used. I still love No Doubt. Um, I got No Doubt Rock Steady. Um, my ex had this, I didn't, so I got it from my collection, one of their later releases, or more recent. I got New Order Substance, um, classic album, used to have this too, it's a double CD, it's got Blue Monday and stuff on it, um, Procession, Hurt, The Beach, um, just some great songs, um, Shame of the Nation, 1963, Love New Order, um, also got the Smiths. I never heard of the CD, The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. Um, this looks like it's kind of a collectible. Um, I've never seen this before from 92. Um, very interesting little compilation. Um, so um, the Smiths, The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. This um, Morrissey was lead, was uh, in the Smiths. So that's where we got to start. I also got the Smiths, the Peel Sessions in the BBC Archives. Never owned this, now I have it. Um, it's got some classic songs on here. Um, it's got What Difference Does It Make, Miserable Lie, Real Around the Fountain, and Handsome Devil. Um, from, can't tell if it's the late 80s or 90s, but anyway, very cool. It was recorded in uh, 1983, so, um, all right. And that's everything, you guys, um, except for the mail. Let's get to the mail. So I got these two things in while all this gone. 
as well as something else I picked up yesterday, which I'll talk about later, because it's going to be its own episode or something. Um, whoops. And I got Atari Vault um, for the PC. I never had this. This was on sale. Um, it was a dollar um, plus shipping. It was like five, six dollars. But I never had this. Um, it's got leaderboards, multiplayer online um, for Windows 7 or higher. So it came out quite a while ago. But I've got Atari Vault 1 and 2 on my new VCS, and they're so fun. So this is the first one Atari Vault. Let me know if you have that and what you think. So I also got this, the last one, you guys. Um, let's open this puppy. I think I know what this is, but. I'm not sure if it's one of the other things I ordered and the other thing is late. I'm not sure. Um, it's what I thought. Cool. I didn't have this for the Atari. And this is 2600. This is boxed. I got this for under 10 bucks. So I couldn't, I couldn't say no, right? I didn't have it yet. I got Aerators by M Network. I did have this on cart, not the box though. Um, it, it's a uh, little flight sim um little shooting game um by m network which i think is mattel um just distributed by on television um air raiders cartridge for one or two skill levels challenge a friend high score wins start with lots of ammo and your fuel tank full shoot down enemy planes dodge enemy ground shells get hit and you lose altitude watch your gauges don't crash Land to refuel after you make 10 hits. Take off again. Game ends when you run out of ammo or crash. From 82. Um, very cool. And um, this has the game. Looks like this. And this has the manual here um, as well. Um, very bland. Um, the, it says the game. It's a dogfight. You against the enemy. You're the pilot. Gunner and Navigator all in one. Enemy planes are buzzing you. Anti-aircraft ground forces are shelling you. Get an enemy plane in your sights and fire. Try to shoot down as many as you can. If ground fire flak explodes in your sight, you're hit. You quickly lose altitude. Climb back up. Stay clear of the flak. Very cool. Um, yeah, it's kind of a little shooter. Um, very neat. Um, so I'm going to go play me some air raiders now. Let me get, know what you guys think of my uh, unboxings here. Quite an assortment. Um, from the dashboard hula doll to the miniature soldiers to the CDs. I uh, got so much stuff um, to the movies. Let me know. Whoops. Let me know which one was your favorite. Um, okay. Uh, thanks for watching. Get your Java on. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hi there, it's Blaze again. Just want to say uh, thank you for watching Unbox right now. And um, I'm super excited uh, to be here. Um, I just wanted to say too, I think I saw Ballistic on eBay the other night. And um, I think he may have clicked on the link that I posted and left for him, you know. Um, and I'm real excited about that. So um, maybe, just maybe, you'll see some others from my planet sometime soon. Uh, I'm so, I'm so excited. But I, I can't let him know that I know. It's got to be a secret. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.